Yo, 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 guys, it is Tuesday, and it, that means it is Stream Tuesday, and boy, oh boy, dude, we got so many cards today, it is crazy. We thought it was just gonna be Fenrir, but they decided to drop, like, a bunch, like, a bunch of crazy PRs. So, let's get started. First one we have is, uh, Peshult Assault, with this unit gets power plus 5,000 for each of your additional regard circles, and then... Act Vanguard Circle, Regard Circle once per turn, Soul Blast one, and rest two Regards and draw a card. So, this card is actually insane in Lambros. Okay, you need this card in Lambros. The biggest problem with Lambros is that sometimes it's hard to rest three units to get the Strat Effect off. And if you don't, your deck just is absolute garbage. This hits numbers with its first effect, and then it draws you a card and rests two cards. Two cards. That is basically all you need to start doing things in Lambros. So this is automatically a staple, and you basically need it. So, unlucky, this is a staple, uh, and it's a PR, so... <laughs> English players, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. We don't know when it's coming, but hopefully soon. Um, so now let's move on to the Genesis reveals. We've got uh, the, the reprint, Mythical Destroyer Beast, Vena Venagander. Uh, auto Vanguard Circle, Rear Guard Circle, when placed, cost Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards and retire it. If this unit is on the Vanguard Circle, choose all of your opponent's Rear Guards and, uh, instead of one Rear Guard. So, it's a Field Wipe if it's on the Vanguard Circle. Actually crazy. This doesn't need a Grade 3 in Soul to Field Wipe. You just need to ride it to get a Field Wipe. Um, but it's also free. It's just one Soul Blast. So, this is actually insane in both Standard, but also Premium, because... Getting rid of annoying cards in premium for free when you get counter blast denied like crazy is really good. It was really good. And it's a come into play as well. So you can ride it, field wipe, and stride. So really, really good card here. But that's not all. So as a second effect, auto at the end of battle that attacked a Vanguard, you may put this card unit into your soul. Look at the top three cards on the top of your deck. Put one of them on top of your deck, one on the bottom, and then one into your soul. So this is actually amazing. Okay, because one, you put this unit into soul, so you basically solve any grade 3 issue. Um, though I don't think there's not much that you use currently when, when it comes to like grade 3s, but I guess you can like, you can splash it into like, no you won't splash it, you won't splash it into like Valkyrie and all that, but premium wise, it's, it's pretty good. But also like in standard, I remember old Himiko builds used to use that giftless grade 3 that will bas that basically had the same effect. Um, so yeah, having that onto this, like, just like as an add-on is really, really good. I think the, the, the other one just, you could add a card to your hand as well, so that was a great plus, but this one puts a grade 3 into your soul and also lets you confirm one of your drive checks, so good stuff, good stuff. Okay, now move on to the main thing of the day is Fenrir, Mythic Beast Fenrir, uh, act Vanguard Circle once per turn. Soul Blast, one or more cards, search your deck for up to one card with the same grade, as the sum of the grades of the cards that you Soul Blast for this cost, reveal it and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Uh, so, it's pretty good. Uh, you can Soul Blast a 0 to get a draw trigger null, Soul Blast a 1 to get rid of, to get a level 1 null, grade 1 null. Uh, you can also get a Zazen, Zar Zarzan, whatever you want to call it, but I don't know, I, I don't think, I don't think Vanilla Genesis is that good. I feel like you're either playing Valkyrian Genesis in premium, or, uh, or just Soul Blast <laughs> Genesis. But yeah, no, I, I don't think Zarzan is that good in premium, but it can basically search whatever you want, as long as you Soul Blast the correct cards from your soul. Um, has a second effect when, uh, looks like it's wrong, but basically when a card is soul, uh, dr puts it the drop zone from your soul once per turn. You may counter blast one and then call it to the regard circle. So, pretty good. Like, basically everything soul blasts in this deck, even this card soul blasts. So, you can kind of make extra attacks because its last attack, last effect is just on attack. You can soul blast one, get 10k. So, you can soul blast something, call it out, makes multi attacks pretty decent. One thing you can do is that you can do an attack, you can use Marduk's skill to go into a stride, also getting another attack off like that too so i feel like in standard this is kind of like mm, not as i feel eos anasis dragon is just better but this is like the initial thoughts this is kind of like a bit more toolbox and oh sorry the, the first effect you have to actually call a card from your hand to regard circle as well so you, you technically don't 
plus, but you, we're gonna call a card out anyway, so I guess it's like, it's fine. Like, it's free, it doesn't require Counter Blast, so it's good. Um, I feel like EL Sinister Dragon might be better in standard, just to just how it supports the Valkyrian archetype is just like really, really strong. Uh, Fenrir by itself, this will definitely need more testing. We want to see more cards get revealed and see how it goes. We want to see where it will splash with. So far, like, if you think about it from G, right, maybe it goes to Vanagardir, Vanag but honestly, like, that card can go into anything. And this card, I re can't really find its niche yet. So let, let, let's wait for more cards to be released. So there's actually an interesting combo that you can do with this and Vanagardir and an old Sentinel called Secret Elsie, and that is you can pop out your uh, your Vanagardner and then call it back with Fenrir's effect premium and then you have a basically a denial griffin that you can use for Genesis in premium. So that's pretty interesting. Will be fun to see what people uh, what people come up with because you can even just ride this and uh, search out your secret LT. So you pretty much confirm it and then you can do whatever you want to do and still have a great defensive turn as well. So. Really interesting to see what people will think of with premium for this, because it just pretty much feels like old Fenrir, except with a force marker and some added on effects. Yeah? But now we got some other PRs as well, so let, let's take a look. So we have Stealth Dragon Gengen. Alright. Auto, regard circle. When your Mask of Domination attacks, costs Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, search your deck for up to one card of the same card name as your Vanguard, put it into your soul and shuffle your deck. If you put a card, this unit gets power plus 15,000 until the end of the turn. So, I don't understand why this is a PR. This should be a main, like, booster set. Like, this should be in this booster set, dude. This is, like, a staple as well. Because the biggest clunky problem of Nubatama is that you don't get another Shiranui that you can pop to your soul. So, your Mask of Domination is does nothing doesn't get drive check doesn't get power uh doesn't your shinui doesn't get power so this basically solves that problem it just solves that problem makes the deck makes nubatama just that much better so this definitely should be in this set <laughs> this definitely should be in this set i like i think this is an auto auto staple an auto staple <laughs> Next card is, we have Nova Grappler support. It is Giant Elephant Battler, Peon Mask. So, auto regard circle once per turn. When your units stand by your card's ability, you may have this unit and one of your vanguards get power plus 10k until the end of turn. Um, I wouldn't say this is a staple, but it's like not bad at all because it gets power and your vanguard gets power. So, that's fine. Um, I think normally in grade twos, your victor deck is basically just uh, is just kick kick typhoons, and you might have another restanding guy, and then you have maybe dose sledge. So I don't know how this will fit in, but yeah, well, I guess it's not bad as a PR. I mean, this is this kind of PR is what you'd expect from PRs, right? It's like it's decent, not staple, but you can see it being used but not being used at the same time, right? And then lastly, we got another PR. It is. Aflated, aflated lemur. So auto regard circle when placed. If your vanguard is grade three or greater, put the top card of your deck into your drop zone and perform one of the following effects below, depending on that card's type. Normal unit, slow charge one. Trigger unit, counter charge one. So again, like, <laughs> again, this is great for both decks. Like big belly, this is good. Isabel, this is good. Like. The biggest problem with Big Belly is that you don't have soul. So this solves that problem, but counter charge is not bad as well. But Isabel gets soul charge and counter charge, that is that is pretty insane. So like again, this is this is kind of like a staple card. This is an incredibly staple card. Why is this not in the set? Why is why is this a PR again, right? Like <laughs> I don't know what to say. I feel bad for great nature players because they're going to be wanting this card and they can't get it. We got a bunch of really strong PRs that English has no idea when they're going to get. We're still waiting for Gear Chronicle PR. Still waiting for Ultima PR. Clara PR as well. Even the Murakumo PRs are good. Like, so many good PRs that we're missing. We need, like, a 
like a PR set, all right? To an order $40, if all these PRs are gonna be $40, that is gonna be insanely ridiculous. So come on guys, like, I feel like when they released, when they were designing this set, right? They were like, this set's fine, blah, blah, blah. But then Luar happened. And Luar's power level is still like tier one, right? So they're like, mm, mm, how do we how do we balance? How do we make these these decks better? Because currently, when I'm looking at Blue Storm Calvary, I'm just looking at a bunch of decks that are like, eh. I mean, if I if I play with friends and like a friendly, it'll be fun. But if I go to a tournament, I'm definitely not playing these decks. I'd rather just play Luar, or I'll play like another good deck, right? So. They probably looked at that and go, no one is gonna buy this product. We're gonna release some better cards to make these entire decks just slightly more powerful or like to fix the problems they have. So they release these PRs as kind of like a like a band-aid fix. So they're like, okay, now now these decks are decent, you know, get the PR, and they're kind of easy to get in Japan. But then when they come out in English, we're just gonna have a blue storm cavalry set that's more like uh like a wet noodle calvary, in my opinion, if we're not getting these PRs. It, like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel anybody who needs these PRs, I just feel really bad for. Okay? Because, like, like think about Twin Order. Yeah? You need that deck to play Deep Hole. We still, we have it. It's $40 a piece. That means no one can play Deep Hole. Deep Hole is going to be the, the cheap deck out of the set. So, come on, guys. You got to... You gotta step up your game. Get these, uh, get these PRs out so we can we can play them. Like, like even this card should be pretty decent in premium, right? When you think about it. So it's not just it's not just standard getting getting screwed. Like this card, great in premium. Um, even the, the Aqua Force card would probably be good in premium too. So, <sighs> man, PRs, dude, PRs. When did PRs become like staples, man? They should just be be cards that are good to have. Maybe. Cards are just bad are probably better PRs. Then we don't have to worry about them or how to get them because PRs. You, you thought booster packs are short printed. PRs can be short printed like heck. And when PRs are expensive, they become really expensive. So that's just my rant on PRs. I think I ran on PRs for like four minutes or something now. So let me know what you guys think about Fenrir. I think Venom Gardener is really, really good. I want to probably have to see more on Fenrir. Um, I know. I know I was really harsh on Descendant, but it deserved it, all right? Descendant deserved it. I'm not that harsh in Fenrir, like, no bias. Uh, just, just to wait and see, all right? Just wait and see. <laughs> all right, so that's it for me, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.